Now that we've studied derivatives of logarithmic functions, now it's time for integrals. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to, involve, to evaluate an integral involving the natural logarithmic function. So here we go. Let u be a differentiable function of x, so you actually can take the derivative of it. Then, if I have the integral of du over u, please keep in mind that when I took the um, derivative of natural log, we got du over u. Basically, again, what's this asking is what function would I put here so that when I take the derivative of it, I'll get du over u. And hopefully you can answer that already. We are going to put the natural log of u. One thing that we do have to include this time are, though, the absolute values because we do have to make sure that this number is positive, otherwise this function would not work. And then, of course, we want to put plus c. So they are just, again, inverses of each other. So if you know one formula, you know the other formula. All right, so in all these problems, our goal is going to get, I'm just going to put our goal right up here. Our goal is going to be to get something that says du over u. And if we can do that, then we know the integral just fine. So on this one, and I kind of know to do this because if there's something in the denominator, that's usually my kind of clue that I'm going to try to look for du over u. So we are going to let u equal x minus 5 because that's what's in the denominator. And then my derivative, the derivative of x minus 5 is 1 dx. And so now I look, I have 1 dx, so I am all set. So if I go to rewrite this problem, the 1 and the dx get to be replaced with du, and the x minus 5 gets to be replaced with u. So then from here, that's just the integral of du over u, I know is equivalent to the ln of the absolute value of u. And then from here, it's just replacing my u, and then that would be my answer. All right, next one. Again, we've got something going on in the denominator. So again, my goal is going to be to get du over u. And so I'm going to let u be the denominator, 6x plus 1, du. The derivative of 6x plus 1 is 6 dx. I notice that I have 1 dx. I need this to say 6. So that means I need to put a 1 sixth on the outside. So I'm going to have a 1 sixth, right? The 6 and the dx become du and then the 6x plus 1 becomes u. So just like what I wanted, I end up with du over u. I know the integral of that is the natural log of the absolute value of u. I do need to bring my 1 6 down, and now all I need to do is replace my u back in, so that will be the natural log of 6x plus 1, and then plus c. All right, let's try another one. Okay, this one I have a couple things going on, but I do notice that I do have some things down in the denominator, so that is what I'm going to let my u be. So I'm going to let u equal x cubed minus 2. Okay, if I take the derivative of that, the derivative of x cubed minus 2 is 3x squared dx. Notice that I have the x squared dx, I'm just missing the 3. So 3 goes on the inside, a 1 -third goes on the outside. So 1 -third, okay, 3x squared dx, turns into du, and then x cubed minus 2 turns into u. So the problem is set up exactly the way that I'd like it to. So I know the integral of du over u is the natural log of the absolute value of u. I'll let my 1 -third tag along here, and now just replace my u back in. So natural log of x cubed minus 2 plus c, and then that problem would be done. All right, let's try another one. Again, we've got lots of stuff going on in this problem, but I do notice the more complicated information is down in the denominator. So I am going to let u be the denominator. So x squared plus 6x plus 7. Now let's find our du. The derivative of x squared plus 6x plus 7 is 2x plus 6 dx. I notice that I have x plus 3 dx, but if I multiplied this by 2, I would then have 2x plus 6, so I would be all set. So if I put a 2 on the inside, we've got to put that 1 half on the outside. So let me just rewrite what we have. The 2x plus 3 dx is again going to be replaced by the du, and the x squared plus 6x plus 7 gets to be replaced by the u. So the setup turned out exactly how I wanted again. So the, derivative, the integral of du over u is just the natural log of u. And then we've got a 1 half tagging along out front. So I have 1 half natural log. And then we just sub our u back in. x squared plus 6x plus 7. And then plus c. Alrighty, let's try another one. Once again, we've got a denominator. So I'm going to let u be the denominator. u equals 1 plus cosine x. 
let's identify our du. The derivative of 1 plus cosine x would be negative sine x dx. I notice that I have sine x. I'm just missing the negative, so negative on the inside and outside. So if I go to rewrite this, I've got a negative on the outside. The negative sine x dx I get to cross out because they become du. And the 1 plus cosine x I cross out, and that becomes the u. So once again, it's set up exactly how I would like it to. The integral of du over u is the natural log of u, with absolute values, of course. So I'll get negative natural log of u, which was 1 plus cosine x plus c. So you'll notice pretty much the setup is the same, and it's just very good u du practice. Alrighty, last one in this lesson. Okay, this one looks a little bit different because we actually have two things going on down in the denominator. If I let u be the entire denominator, I'm going to end up having to use the product rule and things are not going to be working the way that I would like them to. So I am just going to let u be the ln x and let's just see what happens. So u is equal to the natural log of x. So if I want to find the derivative of that, from our previous lesson, we found that the derivative of natural log was du over u. So if this is my u, du is going to be 1 over u, which is x dx. So if you look at this problem right now, notice I actually have 1 over x dx. So I am actually all set to do the integral setup. So if I do the integral setup, the 1 over x and the dx are going to turn into du. And then the ln x gets replaced by u. So this is set up exactly the way that I want it to. Um, one thing that I am going to do that I taught you in a um, previous chapter was let's change these endpoints to be u's instead. So um, when I've got e squared, u will equal, remember we're going to plug e squared in for this x, so I'm going to put ln e squared. Remember in this one we can actually bump that 2 out front, so this will be 2 ln e. Um, we did learn the natural log of e was 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. So that upper limit is now going to be 2. And then my bottom limit, I've got e, and I want to turn it into u. So u will equal ln e, and the natural log of e is 1. So we can go ahead and put 1 in there. Okay, so now the integral of du over u is the natural log of the absolute value of u. And because I changed my intervals, I don't have to change back to my u. So I'm going to leave it exactly like how it is. So I'm going to put a 2 in here and a 1. And now we just plug it in. So I'm going to get the natural log of the absolute value of 2 minus the natural log of the absolute value of 1. Okay, finishing this up, um, the absolute value of 2 is just 2. So I can just rewrite this as the natural log of 2. The absolute value of 1 is 1. The natural log of 1, we learned, is 0. So my answer is just natural log 2. So hopefully now you can take the integral of a natural logarithmic function.